I've been losing so much money on horses. Stock market's where you gotta be. <laughs> no, but for real. You're a crazy man. It just I'm, goes I'm, up. I go on your streams at like 9.30 in the morning and I just watch to see the rankings of a madman. Is it bad though? <laughs> no, I mean, not bad. I, like, I've hijacked the stock market. Bad in terms of like... That part's great. Someone tweeted me today, they're like, do you think we'll ever get, like, fun-loving Dave back? <laughs> I was like, I don't know, dude. He might just be gone to the stock market. <laughs> just ranting about pinstripe suits and conspiracy theories. Yeah, but they theories. don't know what they're, they're ranting about. It. Yeah, it's true. Because they don't know what to do. They don't know how to deal with you. Why can't they just accept it? It's, uh, what's it called? The fox in the hen house. Stop 20 you're the fox. You're the 20% every day. Stop. You're the fox. Stocks only go up. I just made, I blink and I'm up like a quarter million every day. Fox in the hen house. They're what getting like? so mad. The suits are getting so mad. Are you going to do it in Nantucket? Yeah. I'll, if it keeps going up 20% every day, I'm never, <laughs> I'm never to, coming back. You have to. You're gone. He's I've started. So he's gonna be like, "Where's I, Dave? We lost him to the stock market." I've started taking profits, which is so stupid. The airline, airlines, and cruises—it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Every day. Is the second wave a concern or no? Nothing's a concern. Okay, I don't know how it works. Let's see. I just did an interview with CNN. They're like, "What would you say if you saw Warren Buffett?" I'm like, "How about them airlines?" <laughs> You know who's moving into our house? Why we had to leave? Mahomes. Oh, Shut really? The guy's like, I can't tell you who's moving in here, but you, I would let you guys stay, but I can't tell you. But he was the quarterback of the Super Bowl winning team this year in Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike Cap tell us. Yeah, who's their backup? Matt Moore? <laughs> Dan or Roan, can you read that? Because you're supposed to read this ad, not Dave. Yeah. Okay. Roan can. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I'll speak on behalf of Ron. Yes. You writing that with your offhand? We got two tone with the offhand. I'm sorry. It's okay. I can't get mad at you. Yeah, it's it's so like you're having a stroke while you're writing. It's for contacts that are gonna make make it look like I can't read. I wear them every day. Free what flowing. Else? We're free flowing. Oh, we got to do the other ad. Of course. While mm. we're spending more time than ever on our digital screens, that means that it is the team. Oh, somebody wrote this ad in, in poor handwriting, but it's uh, it's the team over at Movement. The team over at Movement want to make sure that you're taking care of your eyes with Ever Scroll blue light filter glasses at the Everscroll solution. Better sleep, better focus, better style. Go to mvmt.com slash rundown. Join the movement. Baseball's fucked. Yeah, they'll figure it out. Um, all right, other things. Uh, PFT was in a show tonight. I was on Billions. A much, a much better, yeah, much better. Yeah, a little a cameo. Much better premiere there's, a, there's Emmy and oh, Oscar buzz somehow cameo. behind it. Uh, they knew what they were doing when they put me next to CC Sabathia, six foot seven, six foot eight. Some websites are saying they killed your character off. Mm -hmm. Do you have an IMDb page now? Mm hmm. It features one episode of Barstool Van Talk and one episode of Billions. But my character made its debut in the uh, mid-season finale of Billions. So who knows where it's going to go from here? Roan just suggested that I'm going to get killed off pretty soon. But I don't know. I think with a with a debut like that, it's one of those roles where, you know how Rob Lowe got brought into Parks and Rec and it was just supposed to be for a couple episodes and they loved him so much and he was such a natural fit. I was such a natural fit at standing silently in front of a painting. They might bring me back. Same with Urkel and Family Matters. You're like the new Urkel. Lunch. I am Come the on. new Urkel. Lunch is a funny thing. It's the nicest thing anyone's ever said about me. <laughs> 
So well, how did it exactly happen? Because you had, what was the guy's name, Brian Koppelman? Yeah, we had Brian Koppelman on part of my take a couple months ago. And we were talking about Billions and how I was like a fan of the show. And he's had like a bunch of cameos on there. And I was like, hey, can you get me on the show? And he was like, absolutely. When it comes to landing the plane, as Big Cat brought up on Billions, I've got two ideas that are, are foolproof. Fire away. Just sign a little thing that foolproof. says I can take the mm-hmm. idea. No, you can. I'm, verbally, I'm, yeah, verbally, I'm granting you this contract. Yeah. Thank you. That's great. Okay, one, this is almost a no-brainer. You've probably thought of it already. You, uh, at the very end of the very last episode, Bobby Axelrod realizes that he was also Paul Giamatti the whole time. Oh, cool. Split personality. Well, like we got yeah, club. yeah, that's right. We thought, you just actually, now I'm going to have to reshoot the first episode of next season because that's how we started. Mm-hmm. Uh, we started yeah. the episode with that. Okay. Like the whole fifth season was supposed uh, to be that journey. Um, we taped it a couple months ago. It was the last day before quarantine hit. And got to hang out with Axe, the gang. I did a great job acting. You, you probably didn't know this from watching it, but the champagne that I was holding was fake champagne. What? But that's, yeah, acting. I could have sworn that was acting. Dom Perignon. Yep. Nice. Yeah, I really sold the champagne hand. I, I arrived at the Soho Hotel that they shot it at, and then they sent me to hair and makeup, and the person looked at me and she was like, is this what you normally look like? And I was like, yes. It was like the most back, I don't even know if it was back in a compliment. I think it was just a, like a straight up insult. But I was like, yeah, yeah, it is. And she's like, okay, because we want people to recognize you. I was like, yeah, well, yeah, then yes, people recognize me if, if I'm rolling around like this. So it was fun. It was like a five hour shoot. Hung out with CC, hung out with Axe, hung out with Wendy, all lovely people. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't think any of them knew who I was. It's crazy because I've been watching that show since. Uh, since episode one, really. Was it 2011, 2012? Since before I was even writing on the internet. Like, I was watching Billions, and I loved it. Never thought I'd ever be on it. Here you are, man. Look at you. But the problem is now, I think now people think I'm a billionaire, because they only allow billionaires onto Billions. Oh! Oh! Uh, stool scenes, episode... Oh, what am I saying? Sorry, folks. Muscle memory. Miss you guys, how are you? Haven't been on these airwaves in a minute. Listen, I got a very important reason to be here today. We're talking about dude wipes, dude products in general. We got dude showers. We got dude two-in-one bombs. We can put them in the toilet. They wipe the scene clean. It's a better alternative to toilet paper. You see this right here? Get out of here! This is all I'm using from now on. And listen, you might have seen them on Shark Tank. You need to see them in your own bathroom right now. Promo code SCENES. For 10% off at dudeproducts.com, you're going to be very happy, folks. Now, I'm going to be very happy when you leave this room because I got work to do. But first, remember, June 25th, Barcelona Outdoors, sponsored by Dude Wipes, too. I'm very excited. Now, come on, shut the door. I'm, I'm like mid-duty right now. Come on. Dude, the la- the <laughs> lag uh, the lag switch was so funny last night, and then and then and then it lagged and Vandy scored a touchdown and I was like, figure that out, losers. Like, yeah, you just tried to throw us off. Like, you clearly lag switched a bad play. All right, let's do it. I hate Mondays too. This fucking it's case of the Mondays, baby. That was an all-time Jimbo. Oh. Yeah. We were so excited yeah. about getting Chick Fil A, oh. and then we realized it was oh, Sunday. Oh, and broken. <laughs> Pete. That's not, not to you. That's yeah, no, I know. I know. That's the game. What does your red ring do? <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Matt, there's a... Okay, check one of the mesh, one of the meshers. Hey. I already saw him. Good job, Billy. <laughs> Good job, Billy. Good job, Billy. Just the mesh, it. it was a man, oh, so the man. meshers would be open. More Billy like Rico like, Sloberton. <laughs> Damn. That hurts. What are we gonna do on first down? We're gonna, we're gonna run the ball. Booger we're gonna run the ball. Mm-hmm. This is a drive, baby. This is how you start the game. To get Calm, the ball seven cool, times. and collected. Seven carries. Calm, on first cool, drive. and collected. Five wide receivers. Here you go, Jazz. Come on, oh, the last. Yes. Oh. Yes. yes. That is fucking three yards in a cloud of dust. Huge drive down your throat. <laughs> I could go for a drive that lasts a whole quarter. Good opener. Hank, I'm reading some of these quotes from you. Yeah? About our, our matchup. Mm-hmm. Any in particular that stick out? I mean, all of them. It's bulletin board material. I'm reading, I'm Press seething over here. I'm literally, I'm mad. I'm actually mad. Mm-hmm. I, I'm Fuck. Bored. I don't even remember what I said. Dual threat. P. 
PFT. He is a dual threat. We have to go to the defensive settings and put it as a quarterback contain on conservative. Yeah, he's gonna kill us. That's not that. That's not me talking. That's the tape talking. I've beaten you. Oh no no that was the wrong one. That was the wrong one. I beat you on Monday. Option defense. Conservative. I'm excited to play. Oh, wait, 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 Fuck! Shut up, Billy! Catch up, ball! You have to run cover. Shut, Shut up, up Billy. Billy! Shut up, Billy! <laughs> if you run cover zero, Billy, they're gonna score. Billy, really? We should not be blitzing. We should not be blitzing. You should be blitzing. Read the fucking room, Billy. I almost fucking bubble. God damn it! Rico. There's a very impressive forward. Right. First down. Show me the formation that Shark Duel is in. Okay. Show to me the formation. Let's run the ball. Season, Rico. Uh, I, I still mean, like I, it. I just okay. go behind 60. Wait, wait, wait. Flash the play hard. It's in. Okay. Oh, they just cover man in the middle. Don't go over the middle. Bingo. Bingo. Nice. Bingo. You're you're on fire this drop. Let's go. Let's you go. Are on fire. Let's score though. We have to score. Nice pull! Nice pull! Let's go! Oh, we're back! Oh. We're back! Oh. We're back! Oh. We're back. Oh. Fuck yes! Get oh, off! Oh, 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 this is pretty boring. At what cost? The cost is trying to win a national title game. At what cost? Yeah. <laughs> At what cost? This is boring. This is boring. At what cost? You won the game, but you were boring. Whoa, this is me. This is the chat. But I had to watch you run. Back at it again. Yeah, this is Doug Hedder, uh, Doug's and then Stool Streams. Uh, I didn't even think about it till now, but I was just chirping the shit out of Big Catch, trying to, you know, stir the pot, get my Paul Golzinski on. And now that he's coming back in here to announce, he's gonna, he's gonna be re relentless. Relentless and ruthless. More than usual. Is that the shirt you did Molly in? No, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just warm up, but we'll... we'll I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what I was... I think I was shirtless, actually, for the most part. I gotta tell you, I, I am so fucked up right now. Fuck off! That's actually a very good narc question to find out if I'm a narc or not. Is that, were you wearing that shirt when you took Molly? <laughs> Absolutely not, I wasn't wearing a shirt. You have to run into a one, one long distance dark bro. Okay. A little concerned about the paddle. So, difference in this paddle, it's virtually the same thing, but it's got the flared handle on there. It goes out. Mine is a straight shot. This one cuts out, and on my serve, I do the double grip. I do this, mm -hmm. and then I flip it. The wider handle actually makes it, it gets in the way. It makes it harder to do that. Mm -hmm. So, it's something to be on the lookout for. Yeah. Hank was very disrespectful. Very disrespectful in the, in the press of that. What do you say? Called me a choker, said that I choked. You said the last was, the yes, you did. You said PFT always chokes. I believe that's a direct quote. You also said that you were looking forward to playing against other people like Jake, Hubs, Frankie, acting like I don't beat you almost every time that we play. Uh, that's not. That's a separate. You're 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 taking that offensively when a quote was not meant to be offensive. Well, well guess fine. what? You said what you said. That's fine. Hey. I, PFT. The, Your mouth the, wrote the some more, checks. more upset he gets, the more mental mistakes he makes. So it's not, not true, really. A, not really so, uh, long dart throw, I think they just throw the darts. For yeah, I think, is there a specific distance you guys are standing from? Uh, Where behind. Is the no, I would shut up, just let Billy just talk as much as possible. It appears as <laughs> if they're going to uh, start from Sorry, behind throwing, the ping pong table. throw the darts. I think they're trying to hit the middle of the circle. Uh, the radii, if you will. 
the Let's two competitors the can't can seem to hit the any of the scored spaces. I'm actually mad at Hank right now. People are saying that this is uh, this is there is like no love lost between these no two competitors. No love lost throughout the record books. There is no love teams, lost. Hank's running his mouth. Hank's There's running to be his tiny some trash talk going on in the match here. No love lost. PFT winds up. Oh, misses the dartboard the entirely. The wood. They have yet to hit a scorable <laughs> point back. on the dart, so we're running it back. I can get my own fucking Now, PFT's been going off about how Hank has been talking uh, egregious a trash. This. A lot, lot of, of talking. Right, hey, Lance Armstrong. Um, the big Cat has now entered the booth, so it's time for me to get out. Where's that? Hank gets one in the zone. It's a scorable zone, so all PFT has to do. PFT and Hank serves. Hank is the first one to actually hit. I mean, Did he it, waste his yucks? It looks like they no. were. Oh, he's oh. oh! No! Oh, he no. wasted oh, his no. yucks. Oh, no. my goodness. Oh, Billy, can we please get a check on PFT's paddle? Billy? Good. Thanks, Billy. Say it's good? Yeah, it's good. You it's have good. Microphone, it's good. Okay, he says it's good. Use your words. Okay. What are you going to talk yeah, to me? And what the most gonna, awkward. Yeah. All right, and that was Billy with oh, PFT. Thanks Billy. so much, Billy. Unbelievable. Great interview. Good insight. I don't know how he just gets the best stuff out of these guys. This is where he used it last time. He refrains. Let's we'll see if the yes works. Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, and a uh-huh. A yeah, uh-huh Two combination. Two OPFT. Let's get that concussion test, Hank. Hank, please look at the microphone and don't move your head. Don't move no, your don't head. don't move your head. Oh, he's concussed. Hank, what day is it? Uh, Monday. He's moving his head. Yeah! Oh my yeah. god, and PFT there we is go. on the cusp there we of go. a sweep, Roan. <laughs> Unbelievable All stuff. right, let's go to Billy. Billy. Billy picks his camera. He says, I'll, I'll go okay, to this Okay, Billy, camera. go ahead, Billy. We got you, Billy. Last week, you are in this and exact same position and melted down. What did you do this past week to prepare yourself to not melt down in a 3-0 situation? I wasn't in this exact same position last week. I was Good at 3-1 last week. This time, it's 3-0. It's not enough to win. 2-1 last I'm, week. I'm going to bury him. I want Hank dead. I want his family dead. I want his house burned to the ground. I want Hank put six feet under this fucking table. I'm going to sweep the shit out of him. If PFC can put it down right here, and we will have What'd seen say, a comeback to the likes of Virginia losing in the first round wow. and then winning the championship the wow. next year. Great, great call. Yeah! Oh, and there oh, it is. Yes. The sweep has happened. Yes. Unbelievable. PFT Woo! has sweeped Hank, swept him. What, what are the Woo! options going to Let's get Billy. Right now, Hank? Uh, no. Como oh, estas? PFT no with the Ric Flair. Uh, Como estas? <laughs> no es bueno. Donde esta la? Yo. Si, si. Donde esta? Donde esta? <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. I blame Jake. I thought I had a conversation with him off the record, and he published that all on a blog, and then PFT, you know, took that, and I just wasn't ready today. I wasn't ready today. I wasn't ready today. PFT was too long and too strong today, and he really got the friction on. I'm about to fly on that. Yo, now, I now, can't now, stop. Now I might have to play on my flip-flops, in all honesty. I, You're putting those things on. I can't on. skate. I'm going to put them on, but I'll, I'll show you. I can't skate. I want you on your ass so fast, dude. It's going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, it hurts. It's fucking rock off. solid. Keith, you're fucked. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna fucking kill it out there. <laughs> I'm not feeling great about having two of them on because that's that's me in terms of balance, Dunzo. Oh, 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 oh. This feels fucking weird. Pair of size two, size two fucking little so kids. Folks, okay. just like that. I'm an NHL player. <laughs> Fuck this. Yo. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, I need a walker. <laughs> there is no way to go by like that. Oh, oh my god. Dude, how the oh. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I mean this is this is unreal. I don't know how I'm gonna even. How do you how do you propel, how do you propel uh, yourself for it? Uh oh. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh oh. Yes. oh my God. I don't know how people play hockey. How does my fat brother play hockey in college at Seton Hall? I don't know how to even do it. Are you going on like? Come 
<laughs> Alright, I'll cut the circle off. Fuck the circle. What are you doing? Fuck the circle. We're doing the pie thing where you cut the pie in half. Oh man, I got, I got it up. That was close, that was close. <laughs> that was pretty good. I lifted it. I lifted it. Oh, that one in! What? I can't believe I lifted it. How'd you do that? I don't know. <laughs> there it is, Dana. I'm always waiting for. I can't even get up. My abs are so weak, I can't even get up. Oh, ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. They can slap. What do you call it? A slap shot, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, then again, my fingers are like halfway up, but here goes nothing. Three. I'm gonna go all my might. Oh, it's a grip test. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. It doesn't even touch. some practicing <clears throat> big night huge night I'm pretty fucking nervous I'm nervous I'm gonna lose again I'm very nervous I'm gonna lose again I'm gonna run heavy but I'm trying to find some play action passes that might work it's it's uh focus composure but uh I think also I mean wouldn't be lying if I said that uh there's definitely some nervous energy we saw what happened last year can't have that again what are you going to say to the kids? You got any quotes? JFK? Jake Portnoy? What, what do you got? You got to have something. I'm just nervous. That's what you're going to tell the kids? <laughs> I'm nervous? Back to back national championship games. I'm nervous? Are you just scrolling Twitter trying to distract yourself? Yes. My game plan is just shots. Look, look at what defense they're running. Hank! They're going to run a cover two because that's the only thing this computer runs. And then on second and short, or third and long, or second and long, I just yell, shot, take the shot. <laughs> and uh, that's my role, and it's really awesome. I'm just Their glad to be is one here. of the hardest defense I've played. That's a fact. Miami? Yeah. I'm definitely, I'm rooting for Tennessee. I want Big Cat to win, but <laughs> if he loses, it'll be great for podcast ratings. Mm -hmm. So there's a several right, good times. Pitch is with me. <laughs> no, I want Big Cat to win. I am firmly like I want. I'm going to be disappointed if he loses until I look at the ratings tomorrow. I like don't, and I don't want. I'll say this: I don't want Big Cat to lose. I don't want Big Cat to lose. The stage has been set. Two traditional blue blood programs of college football on its biggest stage: the BCS National Championship. The team that makes the fewest mistakes will win. Ball, Oski, cover, block, cut, and slice. Pursue and gang tackle, for this is the winning edge. Press the kicking game. Here is where the breaks are made. Carry the fight to our opponent and keep it there for 24 minutes. Back and forth we go. Miami with the ball and driving. First and goal. And Mr. T, what's your prediction for this play? Payne. Payne takes it in on the screen pass. Miami recaptures the lead, 17 to 14. 
Tennessee with the ball, trying to regain the lead just before the half. First and 10 from the Miami 10-yard line. And what's the hottest nightclub at the national championship? Well, I'd say it has to be the end zone. And that's where Stephon Chase heading. He takes it in for the easy six in Tennessee. Back with the lead, 21 to 17. Moves, what do you think? Adjustments? Okay, so the, we're getting no, their offensive line is amazing, correct? They're running yeah. how they want to. The quarter, we have no sacks. He's 13 for 13. What we need to do is we need to stop blitzing in between the D lineman and the D tackle. I know you're not super comfortable with it, but you have to come off the edge outside. No more 4-3, we're gonna nickel and dime them, and we're gonna keep blitzing. Offense is great, you're doing every, no turnovers, offense is great. Defense, we gotta switch it up. The U's not done yet. First and goal from the Tennessee four yard line, and the balls are gonna have to take plenty of IB prof and maybe a little something else after this one. Eat Vaughn Vaughn. Eat Vaughn Vaughn, got him. Got him. What, is, what is he doing? He's selfish, he didn't want to take the 153,000. Holy shit. Here we go, all tied up at 34. This is the game. Somehow, Miami doesn't call a timeout. Doesn't stop the clock. They let it wind down to 19 seconds left. Second to go from the one yard line. And who else to bring the glory back to Rocky Top other than Rico Bergerton? Where's my cigar? Give me my cigar. No. I want my cigar. Win the fucking game. I want my cigar. Get in there. Oh, that's a pick. Yes! 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 We fucking did it. Oh my god, Hank, yeah, not you. It. Rico, you. Yeah, I guaranteed it. Hank wanted me to lose. We're gonna take two days off. Sunday night, we'll be back at it. I'm gonna win another one. I gotta win another one. Woo! Let's go. Champs, baby. What a ride. Love you, chat. I love you, Poopy Stinks and Butt Scrunker69, you fucking losers. You are the ultimate losers. I am a winner. You're a loser. See everyone Sunday night. Dude, it feels so good. I, uh,. Six seasons, six seasons it took me to do that. There was a lot of missteps. There was the time that we lost to Georgia Tech at FSU, lost to UCLA and USC. It was tough, it was tough. Lost to Virginia Tech, finally. Just did it. Fucking feels good, just did it. Last summer, fans across the globe witnessed a wildlife experience unlike any in history. Okay, at least unlike any starring a man who suggestively dances with a chinchilla. Ready? Hold on, I think, yeah. Well, you better hurry. And now he's back for another bite, coming December 2019. No, no, no. Sales says we have to wait for all the sponsorships to be finalized. Oh, give me five seconds, five seconds. This is a real show now with a budget. I don't have to spend everything out of my own pocket. We got Labatt Blue Light and Dude Wipes. I think we're going big time. You only got a couple Labatt seconds. Dude Wipes. Okay, fine. Coming April 2020. Oh no, I forgot to mention, there's going to be a global pandemic where you can't leave your house. Let me tuck my nuts under. Here we go. All right, ready? Oh fuck. Ready. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come Let me on, get, yeah, though. We got to make sure it's good. Oh, for the love of God, how much time do you need? After nine months, literally the same exact time it takes to make a human being, the wait is over. Season two, Barcelona Tours. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm literally screaming. Ah, 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 ah. You handle the black widow right now. I cry right now. Yeah, small? Yeah, I'm How about like old man in the sea? That guy had a fucking canoe, like a, a boat. I got a unicorn.